This is the squeezing clouds experiment. Now, as a part of this project, we did some of our filming at a place called Ingenuity, which is a part of the Ironbridge Gorge Museums. And it's full of really brilliant scientific stuff. And we're currently working in a room which they call the Gadgy Dom Room, which is a room they bring kids in to do lots of experiments when they make school visits. Now, what do you need for this experiment? You need a plastic bottle. Now, you'll see that it's a large bottle. It's actually a two litre bottle. You should also notice I have the lid, which is currently screwed on, and there's a little bit of water. And I recommend between one or two centimetres so that it clearly covers the bottom of the bottle to a small depth, okay? But two centimetres is normally very good. You're also gonna need some matches, a box of safety matches, and obviously adult supervision, absolutely essential for this one. And you're gonna need a few matches. In particular, hopefully you'll do the whole experiment with two matches that we're gonna be using at the same time. This is what I want you to do for this experiment. First, make sure you have your water in the bottle, as you can see here. And remember, about two centimetres, we've already said that. Make sure the lid is screwed on nice and tightly. And what I want you to do is give the bottle a really good shake for about five seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna do it now. So give it a really good shake. Okay, then you undo the lid and ask the adult in the party to get Two matches, put them side by side on the box, strike them at the same time, and drop them in the bottle while they're still flaming and quick as possible, get the lid on. Now, what I want you to do is leave that for about 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, you pick it up, look closely in the bottle, and then as hard as you can, you give it a really good squeeze, as hard as you can, for about, hold it for about two or three seconds, and then release the bottle and see what you notice inside. Then do it again. Squeeze as hard as you can for two or three seconds and release and have a look inside. And then again, squeeze hard two or three seconds and then release. And maybe repeat that five or six times of squeezing really hard for two or three seconds and then releasing. And each time, always be looking in the bottle to see what you notice. So, if you did everything as I asked you to do, this is what you should have noticed. When you pick the bottle up after leaving it for about 10 seconds, you give it a good squeeze and then let go. Can you see that? Give it a good squeeze. Look, it's disappeared. And I'm squeezing really hard. Let go. See the mist? It's getting darker, have you noticed? Give it a good squeeze. Look, it's almost vanished when I'm squeezing. Let go back again. Now, of course, I can squeeze quite hard, but you should be able to do it too. Give it a good squeeze. Look, almost vanished. Let go. Back again. If you look very closely, what you've actually got in here is small. So what's going on with this one? Well, when you put your water in the bottle and you gave your bottle a good shake, what you're actually doing was help create water vapour, which is water gas, if you like, and it was spreading out through the bottle and it was invisible, you couldn't see it. When we then dropped the matches in and you struck the match, you notice I asked to put the match in pretty quickly because I wanted it flaming and making smoke. Because when you drop the match in, we want lots of smoke particles. And if you look carefully, you probably saw them in there when you did it as a fine smoke from the match. When we squeeze the bottle after putting the lid on, when you give it a really good squeeze, and I'll do it again now, what you were doing was pressurizing the bottle, pressurizing the gas, the water vapor too, and when you suddenly let go really quickly, when you drop the pressure so fast, it sucks energy out of what's inside the bottle. So in other words, it will suck energy out of the water vapor. And when you suck energy out of it, it makes its temperature drop a tiny bit. And when its temperature drops, it can turn it back into liquid water. Now that liquid water was forming around all the tiny bits of smoke dust from the match. Okay, so when you squeeze it and then you let go quickly, you suddenly drop the pressure in the bottle. That water gas, the water vapor, it suddenly has energy sucked out of it as you do that. 
and it starts turning back into a liquid, but it turns into it around and wraps around those tiny particles of smoke from the match. And of course, there's many, many thousands, so you'll see a mist in there. Now, I called it a smog rather than just a mist, because a mist would really scientifically be just the water droplets. But a smog is when you have water particles and tiny dust particles where the water has actually wrapped itself around the dust particles. And I think of the word smog, S-M-O-G. That is a word made up from smoke, remember S-M-O-K-E, smoke, which is your match smoke, and fog, F-O-G. So we use the S-M from smoke, O-G from fog, which is just like a cloud, for example, most clouds, and that's where the word smog comes from. So that's why you made smog. Uh -huh.